Good morning, everybody. Buenos dias. Uh, good afternoon for you, Flavie. I'm here with you today. You are the director of sales of B Essential Club, our fabulous DMC in France. And I think today you have special a special region to show us and a special occasion that no one has forgotten, uh, the D-Day and the beach of Normandy. So, my dear, I'll let you take over. Perfect. Um, thank you, everyone, uh, for being with us today. I'm very excited and happy to be talking about Normandy uh, as I was born and raised in this beautiful region. So this is something that uh, it's really important to me to uh, let you discover uh, all the secret and all the jewel that you can find in Normandy. Um, you can see uh, I'm just doing a, a small parenthesis on my background uh, surfing in Normandy. Um, just for you to be aware, uh, of course, a lot of uh, your clients might know Normandy for the D-Day beach, but we have also a beautiful wild coast where uh, you can go surfing and with very nice wave is the second spot after the southwest of France for surfing in France. So uh, if you have some uh, surfing clients, that could be also a, a good destination for them to discover. Um, let me share the screen uh, with you so we can start today. Um, here we are. Um, so we will be talking about, of course, the D-Day's uh, remembrance in Normandy, but also uh, all the other options that you can have while uh, in this beautiful region. I just include here a picture of a very small island that is actually right in front of uh, the coast where I live, uh, the island of Chose. It's really beautiful. And if you have some clients uh, looking for something different, something very peaceful, uh, a feel of Normandy in Brittany, this this is a, a lovely place to stay uh, during the summertime. Um, moving forward, um, most of you know the cliff uh, from Etretat, which uh, I've been taking picture from so many photographers. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier today, I will be talking about the 80th uh, D-Day anniversary and also the D-Day special event and agenda for, for this uh, special time. Uh, I will be also going over our signature tour in Normandy and the spring and summer agendas. So just for you to see that uh, beside the tour that we offer you, there is a lot to do and uh, and to suggest to your clients. It's a very lively destination, especially uh, during spring and summer. Some of you might know that sometime autumn and uh, winter, it can rain quite often in Normandy. So usually spring and summer is really uh, the time where every, everyone is very happy to go out and to celebrate and to uh, organize a lot of um, activities. Um, and I'm going to start uh, explaining you uh, how do we work and who we are. Uh, for the one who don't know us, uh, we're a small agency who opened uh, its door in 2018. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders with uh, El Bias, the owner who is also the head of operation. Um, this year, the way that we work, uh, so we work on a la carte style proposal. Here you have a sample uh, on this picture of how the proposal look. Um, very recently, we we'll just launched a new innovative software in, um, to create those proposals uh, to save lots of time and be able to get back to you uh, sooner um, than we ever did. So everyone is very happy. Uh, Elbia, the, um, the owner of the agency, has been working on this project with the IT team for the past year. This is something very new. And basically, when uh, you send us a request with all the detail that uh, you are sharing with us, uh, we're preparing the itinerary, and then we sent you a link. The link, you can share it with your clients. Um, if that's fun for you, you have your commissionable rate. Um, and then if the clients want to modify something, we just, you just notice us and then we make the modification and then they can just update the link. So they just keep that link and they can look at it wherever they are uh, on their phone or from the computer. It's very convenient for us, for you and for them. So we're very, very, ha very happy that uh, this, be, this has been um, put on. 
We can offer you commissionable or net rate. Uh, this is really up to you. Uh, we share a secure payment link. If your clients prefer to pay by wire transfer, please be aware that we have a bank account in Europe, but we also have a bank account in the US. So if they want to avoid any credit card fees, they can easily do a wire transfer from a US bank to another US bank. Um, one other, other tool that is quite interesting and help us to gain time, it's a seven day a week itinerary work through our online form, uh, which is on our website. When you go to our website, we have a page book with us. And from this page, you can um, fill in all the information that we need to know uh, to start working on the proposal. And we have someone on duties uh, working on proposal even during the weekends. So that way, uh, if you meet your clients for a drink on a Friday night, you don't have to wait until Monday to send us all the details. Uh, and then we, we gain some time. We don't have any minimum uh, to book, to work together. So you can contact us just for one single transfer. You can contact us for one meet and greet. Um, there is no problem at all. We're happy to assist you with anything that your clients might need. And of course, when they are in France, we have a 24 seven travel assistance. So if the clients cannot find the, um, the driver in front of the hotel at 4.30 in the morning before going to the airport, they won't call you in the middle of the night. They will call Yes. <laughs> Um, moving forward, so here is a is the map of Normandy. Some of you uh, are familiar with this map, and other perhaps less. Uh, so basically, I'm personally so I've been living abroad for more than twelve years, and I decided to go back home and to go back to Normandy. So I'm basically talking to you today from this little cove here. Uh, I am very lucky to have a house facing the bay. Uh, it's a beautiful area. Uh, when I was mentioning about the wave earlier, you can see uh, lots of wave, waves uh, here to go surfing. And this is the wild coast of Normandy. Uh, Granville is a beautiful destination with a lot to offer and a strong history. Uh, people don't really know much about this, um, this place, even if it's very close to the Mont Saint-Michel and it can be a good combination. Um, as you all know, the Mont Saint-Michel is a very special treasure um, and we are very lucky that is in Brittany. There, were, there is a big uh, deal between people from Brittany and big people from Normandy uh, about having discussion about the Mont Saint-Michel being from Normandy or Brittany, but it's in Normandy, which is quite a big deal when you think uh, of the number of tourists visiting um, this area uh, every year. It's in regards to economy, it's quite a, it's quite a big deal. Uh, well, you probably- Can you show us where is your little island? And I see that somebody wanted the spelling of the island. Uh, yes, so the island is called Chose, so it's a C-H-A-U-S-E-Y, and it's right in front of Granville. So you can take either uh, a boat with other guests, or there is the possibility to rent a very old ship, beautiful, and either with this old ship, you can go from Granville to Mont Saint-Michel on this coast, or you can go to the small island of, uh, of Chose, which are really beautiful. Chose, you have the main island, which is still small and then all around you have tiny little island where you can be on your own and do a barbecue it's almost your private island just for you uh sandy uh beach and it's uh it's gorgeous the color of the water during the summer you wouldn't think you are in normandy you would think you are in uh, somewhere in corsica oh, it's uh, it's a very special place and very peaceful and also i have to say that um that locals and people in Normandy are usually kind and very welcoming. Uh, some of you might know better perhaps this coast uh, from saint mary église Colville-sur-Mer, Courseul, Ouistreham, Caen, Bayeux. This is where the D-Day um, the D-Day events will be happening and also where we will have all the visits uh, in regard to the invasion. Um, or if you go a little bit up north, here you have Deauville, which is a very uh, beautiful city, very aristocratic. This is where I study uh, tourism to be a travel agent or a tour operator. They have a really nice school there in front of the, the sea. And then you go up to Honfleur, a beautiful city also to discover. You have Etretat a little bit up, um, little bit up uh, where you have those cliffs, very, very famous cliffs. 
And um, here, Falaise, close to Caen, you have very nice castle. Clissy is an area where a lot of people do outdoor activity, including kayaking, canoeing. So you can see um, there are plenty of uh, different options. Cherbourg is very famous also uh, city, um, lots of things to discover. Uh, there is a submarine base uh, for the men who are interested in uh, all, the, all those uh, big machines. So this is a, a really a quick overview of uh, Normandy and everything that you can uh, you can see there. Um, going more into detail, uh, we will be talking about the 80th anniversary uh, of the D-Day. Uh, we have some special um, experience for this year that we are not selling uh, the room next year or the rest of the time. Um, we have the first one, which is an intimate lunch with Georgette, who was a first-hand witness during the, um, the World War II. Uh, she was seven years old at that time, and she used to snuck into the local military camps. Uh, she started to establish a strong, re strong relationship sorry, uh, with a soldier, and we can see her here in the picture with uh, Donald Scheneman um, when he was 19. And the lovely story is they met again uh, many years later, uh, but they were able to, to meet again at some point. As you can see, we have only three dates uh, available for lunch. Uh, so there are not so many options. If you think one of your clients might be thrilled to spend this time uh, with lovely Georgette uh, for lunch, um, get back to us and we will do our best to, to accommodate uh, the availability. Uh, there is also an exclusive experience swing with DJ Swing Maniac, who is a very, very famous uh, UK and London um, swing DJ, but also dancer. Uh, he does workshop all around the world. This is a, really an experience for the afternoon. Only it, it will last only one or two hours. So it's something that you can add to your day, um, to your excursion. We also have another tour with it, which is the Spitfire uh, on June 5th and June 7. Um, so basically, there is a team who's been working really, really, really hard to refurbish and reequip uh, all those original plane. Um, during this um, this day, there will be also a crew on the ground uh, who will be able to explain all the fighting tactics and explain everything that uh, um, is in the cup picked, uh, what is it used for, and so on. Uh, and the clients will be able to sit in the cockpit and have his, his uh, picture taken. So that can be also something uh, pretty nice and, uh, and exclusive. We have another uh, meeting, so it's not Georgette, but it's Colette. Uh, she was older uh, when she was in the resistance, so she was a member of the French resistance. Uh, as you know, th those are things that we won't be able perhaps to uh, offer in 20 years time, for sure. So um, really, if the client is interested, this is something to to experience, I will see. Um, with Colette, you can meet with her and have either a private lunch or a private dinner. It's open re open uh, request. Of course, as you can imagine, she won't do a 20 or 30 lunch or, or dinner. So there was, she will be doing uh, just a few. She was a resistant in the resistance and she became a nurse during the war. Um, there was also an Oscar winning documentary named Colette and produced by Alice Doyard. Uh, so that that also can be something interesting for your clients to see the documentary before uh, and to engage the conversation with her. Um, I mean, it's an Oscar winning documentary and, uh, and something interesting to do. Uh, other tour that we we usually sell every year, we have the Port Mulberry in our Uh This is just for one hour. Um, we we wanted to show you that uh, we don't have only full day tour with the driver and guide, but we also have just one hour tour if the clients want to have more freedom or if the client doesn't have the budget to do a full day tour. Um, there are some options. We have the tank experience also that it's pretty interesting. Uh, and can be done. Uh, 
Moving forward, uh, the final D-Day agenda will be available uh, around mid-April. So we are still waiting to, to know uh, everything about all the events that will be happening. But basically for you to remember, there will be plenty of uh, balls, concert, uh, Spitfire showcase, or military vehicle uh, showcase. Um, there will be some dancing workshops, some flea market, uh, some reenactment uh, in different um, city in, in Normandy and by the beach as well. Uh, you will have also some military garage cell. Uh, so plenty of, uh, of things to keep you busy in different area. I just highlighted the different places you have Lyon sur, sur Mer by the coast, Isigny sur Mer as well. Um, you will have Saint Mary Glise more, more up north, closer to Cherbourg. On the way to Cherbourg, you have Saint Lô uh, between Bayeux and, and the place where I live, Carentan. Uh, so it's really it will be all over Normandy. Uh, so there are plenty of options for your clients to stay busy and enjoy their time there. Um, as you can as you can imagine, during the eight years D Day. Uh, um, week, uh, most of the property are asking for a seven day a minimum stay. Um, so you can tell your clients not to be worried because there are plenty of things to do. And if they don't want to spend seven day all about the D-Day uh, anniversary, because perhaps this is something that the husband is really passionate about, but the wife a little less, then we have other options as well. Um, so our signature tour in Normandy, here I'm talking about the Mont Saint-Michel because of course it's a must-see and it's a place very special. Uh, the Mont Saint-Michel can get pretty busy and crowded um, during the summertime, especially inside during the uh, summer school holiday. At the moment, those this year is not that uh, crazy uh, busy as it used to be as um, a lot of the Asian tourists hasn't been back yet. However, we offer plenty of options to discover um, the Mont Saint-Michel from the outside. We have horseback riding in the Mont Saint-Michel. It can be for half a day or eight hours full day. We have helicopter ride over the Mont Saint-Michel to overlook the, the sea salt, um, the salt meadow. But we also have the possibility to go for a walk in the salt meadow with a shepherd. Uh, that will be for just a few hours, but can be something beautiful and very refreshing. Uh, and we have also some outdoor painting class with a professional painter uh, overlooking the Mont Saint-Michel, teaching you how to use the different light, color, texture. Uh, so that can be also an option to discover this uh, beauty without being in the crowd. Um, for you to know also during the summertime, there is a beautiful uh, light show on the Mont Saint-Michel in the evening. So from, I would say, uh, 10 p.m. until 1 a.m., uh, you have... Uh, um, um, a beautiful showcase on the Mont Saint-Michel with different colors. Uh, it can be interesting. There are some sunrise, sunset walk as well uh, to walk all around the Mont Saint-Michel. And of course, if you want, uh, there is a, an abbey inside the Mont Saint-Michel and they are still doing some mass if some of them, uh, some of your clients might be interested in joining. They have an early one in the morning and they have a, a one around 6 p.m. In, uh, in the evening. Uh, going a little bit uh, up north of Normandy, uh, we're going in the Deauville area, Etretat, Fécamp. Uh, we have the Sulky Harness Race in close to Deauville. That can be an experience, something new, if you have some clients who like horses or who like sports. Uh, Etretat and Fécamp is like the Mont Saint-Michel. is really something uh, to do not miss, um, especially during the summertime when you can go for a walk and the colors are beautiful. And of course, Giverny walking tour. Um, I will go back to this topic, but for you to be aware, this year in Normandy, we are celebrating 150 years of impressionist uh, impressionism um, through a festival. So there will be some uh, special exhibition this year also in Giverny. Giverny. Uh, the umbrella workshop. So we are in Cherbourg, uh, in the north, little north part of, of Normandy, close to the wild coast where you can go surfing and close to the submarine base. We are offering umbrella workshop there, uh, how to personalize and do your own umbrella. Um, Cherbourg is known for um, to be a city where it's rained quite often <laughs> during the winter and the and autumn. 
Uh, we also have some porcelain painting. Uh, it's just really to, to show you that there are plenty of things to do. And we have this half day we call banquet uh, in the countryside. It can be for families or just for a couple. Um, basically, you get to the farm, you will um, go on the field to harvest some eggs and seasonal produce. And then there will be a local chef who will come with uh, his mobile kitchen and you will cook together some modern French cuisine and you will be sitting down and enjoy uh, your meal in, in this beautiful setting. So um, especially if you have clients coming from a major city in the US, uh, that can be a, a really nice escape and, um, and things to do. We have a local cheese farm. Uh, you know, Normandy is really good for everything that is creamy. Uh, so we have butter, cream, cheese. Uh, here we have the camembert, the Pont l'Evêque, le Livaro, uh, and many more that are very famous cheese uh, in Normandy. And there is a possibility also to go in a, on a small boat uh, for a full day tour or half day tour and collect crustacean trap in the sea. Uh, you might get lucky and get a lobster perhaps. And we have the cider road by Sidecar. Some of you may have already booked the Sidecar in Paris, but we have the company is originally from Normandy. Uh, they have different uh, road. Uh, they have one for the D-Day as well, but the cider road is beautiful. It goes really into the countryside, into beautiful roads. Uh, this is something to do if, um, if you can, if you have the time. Uh, spring and summer agenda. So I won't go into too much detail uh, in regards to those. Um, just as I mentioned earlier, the 150 years of Impressionism if, um, in Normandy. So there will be this festival. Uh, there will be several exhibitions, including US and UK artists in the Museum of Rouen, but also in Le Havre, Giverny, Caen, Honfleur, and Deauville. And also in the Cathedral of uh, Rouen, there will be a, a show from a US artist uh, during, um, during the whole time. Uh, this festival is happening from March 22nd to September 22nd. So uh, if your clients are into arts, that can be a, a nice addition to, to follow. We have uh, in Deauville, the International uh, Deauville Triathlon. We have Deauville Polo Cup uh, in August. We have also the yearly sale, yearling uh, sale in Deauville, uh, which are the number one in France and the second in Europe. Uh, the ambience, uh, it's very special and it's very interesting. Uh, spring and summer live music in the cider house near Honfleur. Um, a lot, but really a lot of open air jumble sales every weekend, everywhere uh, for the one who like to to bring some little souvenir from France. Um, and also if your clients are staying uh, in Bayeux, for example, uh, there is a really nice forest house um, in cerisy la forêt uh, By the way, this is where my grandparents are, are from. So I'm very familiar with the area. I used to grow up there. This forest is beautiful. And basically in this forest house, you can go and rent bicycle for a few hours or for half a day. Uh, and th then you can just go Go with the family and jump on the bike and go into the forest and enjoy your time um, so that can be something a good addition um, and as i mentioned earlier cruising on an old sailing vessel along the mont saint michel bay or chose island are something that you can do i think i'm not too bad with the time dominique i have two more slides <laughs> that are pretty <laughs> Um, just for you to be aware, there is something very new. All your clients usually are interested in seeing this uh, tapestry in Bayeux. In 2027, so we're starting already to, to do some work with this, uh, there will be a new museum uh, hosting the tapestry and um, they will do so it's or will be a totally uh, makeover and the visit will go through a very really a, an immersive experience so uh, just for you to remember if you want just to have a casual chat with your clients 2027 something is big is happening in Bayeux at the tapestry and the last slide I was talking, I just uh, added today because I was talking uh, with uh, with this person yesterday. This is an exclusivity that we have is uh, uh, in Pays d'Auge, so about uh, 15 minutes from Deauville, 20 minutes from uh, Honfleur, this beautiful property that can accommodate 
from two um from two sorry to 14 person as you can see there is a private pool i mean it's uh the service uh i have no doubt in regards to the service it's a, a very special place as you can see and for you just to have um an id the price is usually between depending of the number of people of course will go from 5,000 euro a night to 10,000 uh, euro a night. So you can imagine having this property for a whole family, uh, how sweet it can be. There is no minimum stay. Uh, the property is available also during the D-Day period. And uh, they are the properties available from May 15 to the 26th the 21st, sorry, of uh, June. So May 15 to June 21st. Um, it's a very special place. Um, but if your clients are looking for something also different, uh, we just received, we have smaller place in the city center of uh, uh, of Bayeux with the view of the cathedral. I just received today. It's a one bedroom apartment. Uh, very cute, very cozy, perfect for a couple. Um, affordable rate, uh, of course, during the D-dates, it's available, but it's a seven minimum, a seven night minimum stay. Um, but we have other option also uh, with different price. Um, this small apartment is really cute. So if you have a couple still looking uh, for a nice place to stay, they are right in the center, close to all the restaurants, three hundred meters from the cathedral. Um, it's a perfect location to to spend a week. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, thank you, Flavie. Yeah, right on time. Uh, with Céline, you're saying hello. Hello, Céline. Uh, Ruby, you asking, can you arrange private shore excursion during this time? So, of course, yeah. you cover so many things <laughs> that... Uh, huh? Yes. Um, yes. During the, the D-Day, we there will be some uh, additional guide who will come from different parts of France. Uh, so very, we're very confident in regards to availability, at least at the moment. Uh, so everything should be running as, uh, as usual. Okay. So I don't see any other question. You were so detailed. Huh? You give us so, many, so much information, but I think that was really unusual, this type of uh, subject for a webinar. So I think that was really a great idea. Uh, Ducky, you're asking for the day side, do you suggest clients stay in Bayeux? What is your favorite restaurant in Bayeux? <clears throat> That's a good question. Uh, I could answer this question. Um, I spend a lot of time in Caen. Uh, it's true that Bayeux, there are plenty of small restaurants. Uh, sometimes I go with my cousin, but I, I will take your email and I will send you a list of nice restaurants in Bayeux. Uh, I enjoy also very much this, the city of Caen. Uh, we have a nice partner uh, who has uh, only three uh, guest rooms in, right in the city center of the main square of Caen. Uh, beautiful place. I know one is available during uh, the D-Day uh, period. Um, unfortunately, Caen is a beautiful city, very dynamic with lots of restaurant, bar, a little bit of a younger crowd, uh, but we are lacking of nice uh, accommodation there. Uh, however, it's a 15-minute uh, train from, uh, from Bayeux. And I'll go back to you in regards to the restaurant. What? <laughs> I promise. Uh, Deborah, you said, wow, wonderful info. Who knew even surfing? Deborah, me too. That when I saw the picture in the back, I could not believe it was we had surfing there. I knew about the beautiful beach, but uh, yeah. Uh, Ducky, merci for les restaurants in Bayeux. Wonderful presentation. You have so many excellent tours. Very different. Yes, definitely, Flavie. And thank you for sharing all this uh, with us and our travel advisor. And I'm sure you're going to get a lot of people interested to know more or to follow you on all over France because you're as good as what you just do in all the region of France. Huh? Yeah. And so do not hesitate to jump on a call with me uh, for a few minutes or longer. I'll be happy to, to tell you more about uh, the region where I'm from. And uh, so do not hesitate. If you need more information, I'm here for you. You know that Flavie is available on our meeting platform, www.letsconnect365.com. So you can meet with Flavie. We have a little slot of 15 minutes, but of course, you could speak longer. And you can also meet with our other wonderful DMCs and hoteliers. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. I'm sure it's another busy day today. So we appreciate the time. 
and Flavi, good good the rest of the day for you. It's almost the end of the afternoon. And yes. thank you again, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye-bye.